We present the design of a system that augments videos with dynamic graphics in real time. Our system accommodates a wide range of hand gestures and body postures for interacting with graphical elements to enhance the presenter's communication capabilities with the audience. Let's make a story with the tool. Let's talk about the weather. The presenter starts by talking about today's weather. It's a rainy and cloudy day. The next day is sunny but humid. How does humidity usually change as the day goes on and sun sets? Let's create a timeline and explain. The summer has been sunny and warm. How does temperature change over the course of the year? The presenter uses real temperature data to explain the trend over the year. Next, the presenter talks about growing temperature trends by bringing in a chart with a gesture, shows which part of the city map he is talking about, and talks about how the intensity of the sun is related to temperature. The system consists of two parts, which are authoring and live playback and presentation. We now describe how the weather example was created in our authoring system. The first slide is for a rainy day. So let's go ahead and add some graphical elements similar to that theme. The system allows the user to simply drag and drop assets in the authoring environment. We can add a static image of a cloud and a lightning GIF. Now let's go to the drawing mode and draw an umbrella for the presenter. We then add some rain effect by drawing a few lines and making them animate. It is as easy as checking a box. All graphical elements and skeleton joints are treated as nodes in a graph and the edges determine the type of interaction relationship between them. Let's switch to the graph mode where we can define interaction relationships between the elements and also the presenter. An edge from a skeleton joint to an element can be used to anchor the element with that skeleton joint. Let's drag the anchor down so the umbrella is pivoted at the bottom instead of the center. The next day is more sunny and warm. Let's create some causal relations between the skeleton and the graphical elements for this story. We want the sun to move along a constraint path that we will parameterize using a causal relationship. Let's build a custom slider. Let's constrain the pointer element to move in a path along the timeline. An edge is drawn from the slider to the sun. The translation attribute of the slider will now drive the translation attribute of the sun. Let's test the interactions in interaction mode. Just by creating some assets and a few parameterized relationships through the graph representation, we were able to create an interactive story about how humidity changes over the day. Existing gesture taxonomies demonstrate the richness of human hand gestures to communicate with computers. Let's use a pantomimic gesture to interact with a cross that will drive a data chart timeline. The user creates two control points and attaches the hand joints with them. An edge specifies that the rotation parameter of the cross will drive the timeline of the chart. For the last slide, we use an iconic gesture to trigger a chart image. Semaphoric gestures are hand movements used for indirect manipulation. Let's control an arrow from a distance by using the pointing and semaphoric gestures. We use a non-rigid deformation to deform a map element with the presenter's hands.